Polar Banjo. When I see hands strangled endurance in Antarctic winter 1915, toppling her stout masts, twisting and crushing her oaken hull in the splintery mayhem, Shackleton ordered every man onto the flow. Now it was push, drag, shove the lifeboats across gnarled ice seeking a crack to open water. Two pounds personal gear per man, not an ounce more, he ordered. They packed felt lined boots, heavy mittens, pipes and tobacco, of course, jettisoned family Bibles, gold watches, heart lockets. He made one exception. Before she slipped beneath the ice, meteorologist Leonard Hussey must rescue his 12-pound zitherback banjo. Music is vital mental medicine, Shackleton said, essential to morale. In profound polar silences, Hussey plucked and twanged till tattered hulks croaked into song, chafed into laughter. Once the horizon blackened with penguins, phalanxed to hear it's a long way to Tipperary. Skeletal men jigged to Spigoni the Toreador and toasted the sun's return with rotgut and old Lang Syne. Ice, sea, grit, and Hussey's banjo carried them home.